Hi folks, this is Jackie Bushman. Welcome to the Easton's Vital Zone. This week's hunt is going to be with Buckmaster's Big Buck video crew member, Mark Oliver, as he heads to North Dakota on a very cold bow hunt for whitetails. Let's go take a look. There's a good buck right there. This hunt happens pretty quick. There's a buck that comes right under their stand and they had to get ready pretty doggone fast. This deer goes out there and stop. Mark's trying to get his bow back. It's extremely cold and when he gets it back, the deer kind of scoots a little bit, a couple of steps up. They have to grunt at him a couple of times to get him to stop again. As you can see the red pin right there, folks, that's where you want to aim on a whitetail. You always want to aim on the lower one-third of the buck. And this buck is kind of quartering away right there, so Mark's got that pin right there on the lower one-third. If this deer does not jump the string, it's a perfect shot. If the deer happens to jump the string, the shot will still be good, except it'll just be a little bit higher in the vitals. Now let's go look at the shot. As you can tell right there, folks, that action happened pretty quick right there. They got that buck stopped finally. Mark made a good shot on him, but let's do this. Let's go back and put it in slow motion and see exactly where the air hit. All right, folks, you can see the air coming in from the left side of the screen right there. You can see the angle that Mark's shooting at. You see the red dot? That's exactly where the air hits the whitetail. Now, that's the special reason that I was telling you, aim at the lower one-third of the whitetail. You can see how far this buck drops down after the air is let go. All right, folks, let's head to the Easton 3D Vital Zone and see exactly where this arrow goes through the vitals. All right, you can see the arrow coming in from the left side right here, basically going in the uh, middle part of the right lung all the way through the heart and bottom part of the left lung right there. This was not a complete pass through, but still a fatal shot. All right, folks, another great buck of the Eastern Vital Zone. Mark and them did their cutaways. They knew it was a good shot. Uh, they waited uh, about 30, 35 minutes, trailed that deer, found him within 50 yards. Now, a few tips I want to give you on that hunt is, Mark and them were hunting in extreme cold weather. I'm talking about zero to 15 degrees is the highs. He brought his bow weight down at least five to seven pounds. When you're hunting in extreme cold weather, you got to bring that bow weight down or that buck of a lifetime will be out there and you actually physically cannot pull that bow back. So they did that. The other thing was that deer got on him pretty quick. Uh, was going away from Mark, that's a, t you know, that's a tough shot, but he, he put his pin in the lower one third of that white tail. And if he wouldn't have done that, he might have missed the deer because that deer de definitely jumped a string and dropped a good bit. But they made a good shot right there and that's what it's all about. There's a few tips and there's another buck of the Easton Vital Zone.